Thank you very much for joining this session. Uh, during this talk, I'm going to show what are the main uh, challenges and problems that you are facing when you want to build an event streams pipeline. And uh, I will take as an example uh, a Formula One telemetry processing by using Apache Kafka running on Kubernetes. So let me introduce myself a little bit. I am Paolo Paterno. I am a software engineer in Red Hat on the messaging and data streaming team. So I mostly work on the Apache Kafka and on the StreamZ project, which is a CNCF project about running Kafka on Kubernetes. I am one of the maintainers of this project. I am also committed for um, the Eclipse Foundation on uh, mostly IoT related projects and also uh, Microsoft MVP on Azure technologies. So, as you already mentioned, um, uh, what we are going to cover during this session, how to build an event streams pipeline, and what are the challenges that you are facing during the uh, build of this application. So, the first problem that you are facing is always about uh, ingesting the events reliably. So, you have a source from where your events, your data are coming, you want to ingest all this data uh, with high throughput, low latency, without losing events, so in a, a reliable manner. And for this reason, I can say that Apache Kafka is uh, the most used, the most important data streaming platform for that purpose. Uh, on the other side, then you want to integrate uh, different systems because it's possible that uh, the source and the destination of your pipeline are not able to talk the Kafka protocol. So in this example, um, data uh, are coming from UDP and you want to put them in Kafka. Uh, for this reason, uh, the simpler solution is about using the Apache Camel integration framework, as we'll see. Uh, the third step is about applying and running some real-time processing on the events because you want to get insights in real-time on the data that are flowing through the pipeline. Uh, you want to make decisions in real-time and the Kafka Streams API can be used for this purpose. Finally, you want to show your data on some dashboards, for example. And the mm, most uh, used uh, solution for that is Grafana, backed by InfluxDB uh, as a data source where we will move the data from uh, Kafka. Uh, finally, we want to run all this uh, solution, all these pieces somewhere. So we are going to use Kubernetes for running the applications and deploying the Kafka cluster using StreamZ. So let's see the overall solution, the overall picture of this project. Uh, on one side, as I already mentioned, we are getting uh, Formula One telemetry data. Of course, we don't have real uh, Formula One cars, but uh, uh, we can use the Formula One game running on Xbox or any other platform, which is able to send the telemetry data in real time when, while you are playing on UDP port. So the first problem we have is about uh, reading from UDP and moving this data to Kafka, which is running on Kubernetes uh, in the cloud. Apache Camel as an integration framework allows you to write a simple application with um, um, simple routes uh, using a DSL language in order to uh, read from a source, write to a destination in a really simple way, as we'll see. When the data are ingested in Kafka, we want to run a Kafka Streams API application for doing some real-time processing. In this case, the simple uh, example is uh, average speed in the last five seconds for all the drivers. Then we want to show this data in Grafana. Because Grafana doesn't have Kafka natively as a data source, we are moving this data still using Camel, using as Kafka source, InfluxDB as destination, so as a time series database, where all the data points are then used by Grafana for showing the data in real time on multiple dashboards. Let's take a look at all these pieces that are making this uh, solution. The first one that I want to mention is StreamZ. StreamZ is a CNCF project since 2019. Uh, it's a project based on the operator pattern, which extends the Kubernetes API with some Kafka-related CRDs. So it means that uh, when you deploy StreamZ as an operator, uh, you also get Kafka as a native custom resource in Kubernetes. So you have pods, deployments, stateful set 
but even a Kafka custom resource where you can um, set all the information then the operator uh, uh, will take care of it and will start the deployment of your Kafka cluster but you can also handle the configuration or everything on all the brokers uh, the security aspects uh, even uh, handling the updates so the rolling updates uh, of the brokers with the new Kafka versions or updating parameters and configurations things like that but it's no, uh, not also about this, but even um, handling the topics and the users. So in a Kubernetes native way, you can create topic with a Kafka topic custom resource. You can create users with a Kafka user resource. So you have to deal with the Kubernetes resources, not more uh, Kafka tools for handling uh, all of this. It's not just about Kafka, but an entire ecosystem around Kafka. So you can deploy even Kafka Connect, Mirror Maker 2, but there is also support for cruise control, for um, uh, running some rebalancing of your uh, uh, topic partitions across the cluster, HTTP bridge for having an HTTP endpoint and accessing, uh, for example, from mobile application, the Kafka cluster, and then OAuth for authentication, Canary for checking the working status of your cluster, and so on. Then let's move to the first step, which is about moving the telemetry data from UDP to Kafka. As I mentioned, Apache Camel. Apache Camel as an integration framework provides you a DSL for writing your route where you can specify the source, the destination. You can just apply simple configuration for that. So what is the source? In this case, UDP by using Netty. Then what's the destination, which is Kafka. So you can configure uh, the route uh, uh, by specifying uh, the, the, the bootstrap service in Kafka, the destination topics and things like that. And then Camel will take care for you, running the route and moving the data. In this case, the telemetry data are uh, moved to three different topics in Kafka. The first one is just moving the row packets. So it will be a route like from to directly to Kafka. Then um, we can apply on the route different uh, operations like filtering, mapping and so on. So we are getting in some events from the telemetry data like the speed trap and uh, um, lap data. And uh, so we can apply the filter on the events. And then we are aggregating data uh, across all the drivers because uh, the telemetry data are coming from the um, Xbox game, uh, not per driver, but in a different way. So you, we are aggregating and writing the data to a specific driver's topic so that we will have for each message where the driver ID is the key, the information related to that driver in terms of uh, speed, uh, engine revolutions and all this kind of stuff that we can have in uh, Formula 1 telemetry. Uh, when the data are in Kafka, then we want to run some real-time processing. Uh, Kafka Streams API can be used for that, a simple application, which is getting the data from a Kafka topic, in this case, the telemetry drivers. It's processing, as an example, the average speed for all the drivers in the last five seconds and writing to a destination topic, the average speed topic. The last step is about showing this data in real time on Grafana dashboard. So we have uh, first to copy the data in InfluxDB as a data source for Grafana. So again, a camel application where the source will be Kafka. You can configure the destination as uh, InfluxDB uh, tables. And then reading from uh, these three different topics, the drivers, the average speeds and the events, uh, the camel application is just applying a process um, method in order to transform uh, the Kafka message in data point to write uh, into uh, InfluxDB. So all the information about telemetry, the motion, the car status, the average speed, the fastest lap and the speed trap as events. Now, say that, let's see all this kind of stuff in uh, action. Uh, as you already mentioned, we are using Grafana for showing the telemetry data. So here I have three different dashboards that we will see be filled by data uh, in a few. And uh, the most important part, uh, let's uh, switch to the Kubernetes cluster. In this Kubernetes cluster, um, I have, first of all, the StreamZ cluster operator. Uh, which I used for deploying my Kafka cluster made by uh, three Kafka brokers and three zookeepers. Uh, also, the cluster operator deploy uh, 
another operator which is called the entity operator which is in charge as i already mentioned before to handle the topics and the users in a kubernetes native way then i also deployed grafana and influxdb uh, and for showing the grafana dashboards i'm just port forwarding uh, uh, from the kubernetes cluster then we have the two main um, um, f1 telemetry applications the one about um, um, uh, processing the data in real time, so the stream's uh, average speed application, and the other one about moving the data from Kafka to InfluxDB for Grafana. Of course, the application that is in charge to move the telemetry data from UDP to Kafka cannot run on this cluster, but it's running locally uh, because it's getting the packets from UDP and then sending them uh, to the Kubernetes uh, cluster running uh, in the cloud. Now, because right now I don't have the Xbox running, I don't have the Formula One game running, uh, I'm going to use some data that I already stored in a SQL IDB. So there is a Python script that is able to listen on UDP and while you are playing your Xbox, getting this data from UDP and storing them in a SQLite database so that you are able to reply all these events as they are coming from the Xbox. So I'm running this player, uh, the Formula One 2022 Miami Grand Prix simulated on the game uh, before and it's just going to read all the records from the SQL IDB and sending them to UDP. So we are just emulating what's happening when you are playing the real game where the packets are coming as I already mentioned uh, from UDP. So let's start the player. It's going to send these packets. Uh, we'll see soon for example 500 packages sends and so on. Now let's move to our Grafana dashboard. The, we will see here that the Grafana dashboard are uh, uh, going to be filled by all this data. So they are coming from uh, uh, the application running on my laptop, they are ingested by Kafka and then through the Camel application moved from Kafka to InfluxDB and showed by Grafana. Here all this kind of information for all the drivers, speed, engine revolutions, the G-Force, uh, uh, the damage on the wings, so there are a lot of telemetry data coming, uh, speed trap and fastest lap as events, uh, there are no uh, events right now, but the, the process is still uh, happening, right? The other dashboard uh, is um, uh, showing information for each driver. So you can select uh, one of the driver here. I selected Charles Leclerc and you can see um, some different information overlapped because it's in general really useful for a Formula One uh, telemetry engineer to correlate um, telemetry data on um, different graphs but overlapped uh, so that it can kind of uh, um, see the correlation between engine and speed, uh, throttle and brake, and uh, here more information about the brakes, temperature, the steering, the g-force, uh, when there is an accident for example, or acceleration, uh, or information about uh, the, the, the tires, uh, um, the temperature, the damage on the tires, and so on. The last piece is about uh, the Kafka Streams API application, which is processing the average speed in the um, last five seconds. Uh, as you can see here, there are some drops in the graph because we are using a so-called tumbling window where uh, it's getting uh, um, sampling for uh, the last five seconds, processing the average data, and then uh, the samplings are just uh, 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 throw out. So uh, for the next five seconds in a new Windows, new samplings will be used for processing the average speed. So it's not a sliding window where uh, uh, all the sampling are used for, all the samples are used for uh, um, for the new coming window, but it's a so-called tumbling window. But it's processing and showing you what are yeah the different uh, average speed for uh, all the uh, drivers. 
So this is the solution actually in action. Let's back to the presentation and uh, here are some resources. So the link to the um, Kafka project where you can find all the information for running this solution on Kubernetes, the decoding library which is used by the project for decoding the UDP coming from the game. Uh, there is also a video on YouTube about my son playing the actual game so you can see the game running and at the same time the Grafana dashboards uh, as we saw uh, just so right now and there is also a blog post that I wrote for the Grafana community um, showing what I already yeah, uh, showed you during this uh, talk. So thank you very much for uh, joining. Um, uh, I do really hope that you enjoyed this um, talk. And if you have any kind of questions on this project, uh, just uh, ask and ping me, for example, on Twitter. Uh, the Twitter account is pipatierno and uh, I will answer absolutely. So thank you very much and uh, have a nice uh, day on um, that Data on Kubernetes uh, Community Day.